After days of unrest in our nation's capital, the road to the White House certainly has a new look. The words Black Lives Matter and giant yellow letters span blocks of 16th Street in Washington. A longtime friend and former photojournalist for WHAS 11 has been covering the protests there all week long. Craig Olmstead, whose father, Chuck Olmstead, reported the news here from the 70s until his death in 2009, shares what he's seeing with our Brooke Ash. Today is the first day it's quiet. I mean, if you listen, you don't hear anything. It's peaceful. Craig Olmstead's been in Washington, D.C., covering protests since last Friday. I'm emotionally spent. I'm going to be honest with you. The last few days has been nothing but, you know, clashes between the police and the protesters. They have these big fences in front of the White House, right? And the protesters would be here, pushing, pushing on this fence. And they'd be pushing at it, trying to get it to, to go over. Throwing bottles, throwing all sorts of stuff over to provoke the police. But today, the focus is on the pavement and the buckets of yellow paint used to cover it with a message directly from the city's mayor. We're seeing on the street a mural being painted in the words, Black Lives Matter. Giant yellow letters spanning a two-lane road leading directly up to the White House, a new street sign just installed overhead. It's kind of surreal today. I feel like, I feel like I'm not even in front of the White House. It began with a few artists, and by mid-morning, dozens of volunteers were rolling out the paint. They want to take a stand. They want to have physical change, and they don't want to wait for it. They want it now. Rallying outside the White House of all places, I think it's helped. It's helped create a tone, a national tone, and giving people the idea that they're actually not going to take this standing down. They're not going to take another situation where an unarmed black man is being killed unjustified, unjustifiably. They're not going to take it anymore, and, I, and I, I'm happy about that. You know, I'm actually happy that something's being done, and I'm happy to be able to cover that because it's, it's a moment in history. At the White House, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News.